Hi guys, I'm uh, here at a place called uh, Whiston House in uh, beautiful Sussex countryside in southern England. And the reason I'm here is to show something to those who've uh, asked me, after putting up some of my videos, making comments about the fact of, um, well, Christianity is pretty dead, isn't it, in, in England. And uh, I'm here today, and you can see that uh, I'm not alone. There are other people around and in the distance. You can see a very large car park and all sorts of attractions, crowds gathering. Let's go closer and find out what's happening. Hi. <laughs> These crowds are amongst the 14,000 people who are at this all ticket event and it is uh, a celebration of all things good and uh, this is a Christian event, just one of many, that takes place during the summer in England. Behind me is a natural amphitheatre, uh, which provides the seating for the crowd. We're going to be uh, watching a live concert, which includes such uh, Christian uh, artists as uh, Why Friday, Delirious, Michael W. Smith, Israel Halton. And that's going on during the whole afternoon indeed. And that's the actual stage uh, in which all the events will be taking place. There are some others, but still go and have a look at it as well. Let me tell you that Christianity is alive and well in the, the United Kingdom. Yes, there are places where it's more like entering a morgue than entering a living church. But this is an expression of the church as it's lived out in England and people who really believe that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Saviour and that he is the one true God. And that motivates their life. England is not a spiritual backwater, uh, nor is it a place that is ripe for Islam or any other faith to pick, because it's a place where people are motivated by a Christianity that respects every individual as somebody created and loved by God, and somebody worth telling the good news about Jesus to. Um, there's all the fun of the fair here, as you can see, there was the tractor rides earlier, uh, men on stilts, bouncy castles and all the rest of it. Uh, but now we're just going over to one of the uh, smaller venues to see what's happening.
I'm David and I run the United bus, which I'm assured you've just seen a picture of. It's beautiful. Um, it is a 24 year old Metro bus, uh, ex London bus, converted by our church, and um, it goes out six times a week uh, to different locations in our area and giving like a mobile youth centre to young people who don't have access to one. Um, otherwise. Um, so on board we have a PlayStation 3 built in upstairs, we also have a craft area, uh, we have sweets for sale and cans of coke. Yes we have coke in England uh, <laughs> and all that sort of stuff. It's really great fun. We get kind of over a hundred kids on board a week. Um, it's very very popular and they always let us know when we don't turn up. They're, they're very protective of it. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, there's a lot of flag. What? Do you know what it is? Sharp eyed bloggers will recognise Mark, who is on the uh, United Bus team. history makers and I feel like I'm amongst 15,000 today. Can you not stop rubbing my leg? Is that okay? Just, to, just calm down to The spirit of God the Master is on me because God anointed me. He sent me to preach good news to the poor. To heal the heartbroken. Announce freedom to all captives. Pardon all prisoners. God sent me to announce the year of his grace. A celebration of God's destruction of our enemies. And to comfort all who mourn. To care for the needs of all who mourn in Zion. To give them bouquets of roses instead of ashes. The spirit of God, the master, is on me, on you, on you, on you, on you.